guys, it is Mascara Monday. Okay, so today I've got the, <clears throat> what's it called, uh, Rich Volume Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara from RK by Kiss. Um, I have been pretty impressed with the RK brand so far. Um, I'm going to probably grab one of their liquid lipsticks as well because I cannot resist a nude liquid lipstick. I just can't, so. <laughs> um, it comes in a little... Uh, package like this but the good news is that if you untape it it comes apart really easily it's sometimes such a bummer when like you get a package like this and you have to like spend 20 minutes just trying to open the thing oh and it's also um, separately packaged just like this um, and this one is called very black and it's waterproof this is rich volume mega volume so we're gonna try this out now I I want to say my last Mascara Monday was a Broadway mascara. I can't remember for sure though, but um, I'm starting to think that this RK by Kiss and then the Broadway brand that you can get from Dollar General is the same. Like they're same, but with a different name. You know what I'm saying? And I think they're put out by the same company because I think Kiss is a division of Broadway or Broadway's edition of Kiss, one of the two. So anyway, this might be a very similar um, mascara to the one that I just tried, which was, I can't remember. Um, I've got a, it's in my playlist of Mascara Monday. So, all right, we're just going to try this out. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm already kind of bummed because I do not like the spiral brush that spirals round and round. It just seems like never works out very well for my lashes it tends to make the uh, my lashes stick together so this is not the same as the last one that I did just by the shape of the brush alone the formula could be similar but we'll just see okay so as of right now I feel like there is barely any product on this brush at all and it's making my lashes look really fluffy which is fine if you're going for like a natural look but so I'm gonna just try and load the brush up a little bit more um, if you're going for a natural look fine that's fine but I when I see something that says mega volume I want mega volume this might be one of those that's good for layering just to give you like a waterproof layer over the top so lashes are getting really long they are not being very volumized but very long and fluffy. Um, what is kind of nice about this is they're not necessarily sticking together too bad. I mean, look at that. My lower lashes are like really long, but they're not very thick looking at this point. But they're looking really, really long. I don't know if you can see that very well. So I'm going to try to get a little bit more again on the brush. I just feel like there's hardly any product getting on this brush at all. Oh yeah, but like where there is more product on the brush, it is kind of making my eyelashes stick together. Not terribly, I've had worse, but yeah. This is one of those, again, one of those mascaras that I would get for if I let my 14 year old daughter wear makeup at this point, which I don't, but if I did, this is the kind of mascara I would get for her because it gives you, you know, it darkens up your lashes, tints them a little bit, makes them long, not too thick and volumized, and uh, kind of a good, like, starter mascara, just so you can kind of get the feel of how mascaras work and... But I mean, look how long. I, I don't know if you can see, like, in real life, those lower lashes are way long. So yeah, this is not, like, the most amazing mascara that I have ever tried. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it's not what it says on the package. The package says mega volume, not so much. Is it horrible? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, I think it's, if you're looking for a very natural mascara, this is a good bet for you. It was about five bucks. I want to say it was $4.88 at Walmart, which is the only place that I've seen the RK by Kiss um, brand. Um, 
So for me, I probably won't return this just because it's more trouble than it's worth to return it than it is to get the five bucks back, you know what I'm saying? So, um, okay, so with this one, I'll continue to wear, wear it for the rest of the day, see how well it lasts, if it smudges, anything like that. But as, at this point, I wouldn't run out and go purchase this for myself again. Um, my favorite continues to be the um, Colossal Big Shot Mascara, which I have seen full price in uh, stores like Walmart and Target. Um, if you can find that on sale, like I did, snap that thing up because it was, it's really good and it still continues to be, even after several weeks of having it, it still continues to be extremely volumizing, extremely lengthening, and just a really good overall mascara. So, all right. That's about all I have for today. Let's see, can you see that well? I don't know how well you guys can see. I'm not very good at modeling lashes, you know what I'm saying? But um, All right, so I will check in with an update later in the description box so um if you guys could like and subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye